All right, guys, welcome to the Man Cave. Today we are going to play some Sealed Ravnica Allegiance. We're going to draft, pick our cards, and then we'll jump in and see how we do. Um, I would appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe to the video. That'll help the channel out. And let's jump into some drafting. Now, admittedly, I am not great at this, so don't be surprised if we go like 0 and 3. But we're going to give her a shot. I want to get the cards anyway, so. Nine packs is good. Plus, you can win gems back. So, we have Lumbering Battlement, Simic Ascendancy. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control for three mana. Wow, nice. You can actually win the game with that. Lavnia Azorius Renegade. Nice. Guardian Project. Glass of the Guild Pact. Multi-creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And Smothering Tithe. Nice. Yeah, that's good. That'll build us some artifacts quickly. Well, what now? All right. Well, I thought we were going to be uh, drafting, but this is much, much different. Arrestor Seal. Concordia Pegasus. Justicar's Portal. Prowling Caracal. That's a pretty nice card, but it's six. I like the art. The art is badass. Night of Sorrows. Afterlife. When this creature dies, create a 1-1 one, one white and black spirit creature token with flying. So those are our white cards. Essence Capture. That's pretty nice. Another counter. Sage's Row Savant. Arrestor's Admonition. <coughs> Coral Commando. Very cool art on that. Eyes everywhere. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one. Senate Courier. That's cheap flying 1 4. That's pretty nice. Thought Collapse. Skate Wing Spy. That's nice. If our creatures have a bunch of counters, then we do... And just casting him, it makes all our creatures fly. That's nice. Skittering, a Skitter Eel. Chillbringer. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Nice. <laughs> nice picture. Windstorm Drake. Other flying creatures get plus one, plus oh. Nice. That's expensive, but lots of draw. Thirsting Shade gets plus one, plus one to the end of turn. That ain't bad, really. Rakdos Trumpeter. Blood Mist Infiltrator. Noxious Groidion. Under Cities Embrace. Brace. 
That's a pretty nice card. Undercity Scavenger. When Undercity Scavenger enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature. If you do, put two plus one plus one counters on Scavenger and then Scry. And Spectacle. You may cast a spell for its spectacle cost rather than its mana cost if an opponent lost life this turn. Well, that makes him much or her much cheaper. Catacomb Crocodile. Debtor's Transport. That is goofy art. Different. Very different. Storm Strike. Scorch Mark. Scorch Mark deals two damage to a target creature. Skewer the Critics. Wow. Dagger Caster. That's a pretty brutal card. Gore Clan Wrecker with Riot and Menace. Rubble Reading. Destroy Target Land. Scry 2. Spin Wheel Acrobat. Flames of the Raised Boar deals 4 damage to target creature and opponent controls, then flame. Deals two damage to each other creature that player controls if you control a creature with power four or greater. <coughs> On to our green cards. Alright. Sigatar's Volley. Stray target creature with flying. One damage to each creature with flying. Your opponent controls each creature. That's nice. Steeple Creeper. Gains flying until the end of the turn. That's a nice, cheap 4-2. Guardian Project. We already looked at that one. Mammoth Spider. Rampaging Rendhorn. Trollbred Guardian. And that's nice... Nice second feature there. Each creature you control with a counter on it has trample. We saw her. We got lockets. And Senate Griffin. Flying when it enters. Scry 1. Imperious Ogle, Ol Oligarch. Vigilance and then Afterlife. That's a nice little card. Pitiless Pontiff. Yeah, that's pretty nice too. Syndicate Guild Mage. Grasping Thrall. Enters the battlefield that deals two damage to each opponent and you gain two life. That's nice. Carnival and Carnage. Footlight Fiend. Rakdos Locket, Rafter Demon. Get the point. <laughs> I love the art. Zerta Goblin with Riot. Oh, a little too far there. Rubble Slinger. Reach, 2-3, that ain't bad. Frenzied Arian. Arians? Arinx? Riot and Trample. So 4 cost could be a 4-4. Four, four. Sunder Shaman. Sunder Shaman can't be blocked by more than one creature. When Sunder Shaman deals damage to a player, destroy target artifact or enchantment that player controls. That's a nice 4 cost 5-5. Five, five. Balrak Clan Crusher. Remove a plus one plus one counter from creature you control. Balrak Clan Crusher deals two damage to any target. That's kind of nice. Applied Biomancy. Choose one. Target creature gets plus one plus one till the end of the turn. 
Return target creature to its owner's hand. Growth Spiral. Draw a card. You may put a land card from your hand into the battlefield. We already looked at that one. Arrow Monculus. Flying with Adapt. For three, that ain't bad. Simic Locket. Frilled Mystic. Well, that's nice. And Scabbering Claws. Target player exiles a card from the graveyard. Okay. Guild Pack. Sphinx of the Guild Pact is all colors flying and it's hex proof from mono colored. Gate Colossus. This spell costs one less for each gate you control. Gate Colossus can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Whenever gate enters the battlefield under your control, you put a gate Colossus from your graveyard on top of your library. And Azorius Guild Gates. So what do we want to play? I'm definitely liking the Rakdos, and I definitely like the green and the red. So maybe we'll go green and red and black. Well, let's just see how many cards we got that are just... Frenzy. We're going to take the Rubble Slinger out. We got Rakdos. We'll take that. Get the point. Fiend. Go with Carnival. Kind of like him. I definitely like the shade here, the Trumpeter. Well, we're just going to put all our black and red in, and then we're going to take a look at our take a look at our deck and see what we don't like, see what we do like. So, with every card, we have 42. Go to the lands. All right. Blade Juggler. So what's our our curve? Four, three, five, eight. Thirsting Shade. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go into a different color. If we go, what do we got for white? Not a huge fan of any of those. That's a nice flyer. Yeah, we need some smaller creatures is what I'm looking at. But we really, we only have very few white cards. What do we have in blue? We have some nice cards in blue, but they're pretty expensive. What about green? Well, if we splash white, of course the green splash is nice too. 2-2 two, two with Riot. Well, let's we're gonna splash try and splash this green. Alright, so now our curve is even more bent out of shape. 
But we can get rid of some stuff here. I don't think we're going to play the Raise Boar. For 6, a 5-3 with Afterlife 2. We're going to get rid of him. Oh, we got to go to our lands as well. Got that. Did we get a locket for... Either black and white or or black and red or green. Black. It does not look like it. We got blue, white, and green, white. So we don't have that. But we're going to go to our land. Did give us three forests. We got a green. <coughs> so we got 11, 14, 17 land. So we need to drop six more cards. And how many creatures do we have? 19. I like this a lot. I actually like him too. We're not going to be destroying land. Blade Juggler. What do we got up here? I think we're going to get rid of that. That. Alright, 3 1, 2 2, a death touch. I think we're going to get rid of our Blood Mist Infiltrator. That's a nice card, actually. We've got our Locket. We got to get rid of something bigger. I don't really care for this card too much. A 5 2 is very easy to kill. We need one more gone. Riot and Menace, which is nice. Riot and Trample, which is nice. Um, What do we got? 17 and 7. Yeah, we're going to keep, uh, we're going to keep the rest. Alright, first deck. Alright guys, I'm going to go use the restroom quick and then we will jump into a game. Alright guys, I am back and we're going to jump into a game. I have no idea how our deck is going to do, but we're going to find out. If we just got straight up smoked, I wouldn't be surprised in the least. <laughs> what are we going to see? This will be interesting. This is uh, my first game that I've played in... Uh, in the Ravnica Allegiance, so. Well, we got land. That's good. We got stuff we can play. That's good. Yeah, not, not bad overall. I like it. Our opponent goes first. Jericho. And he is in white. Oh, and there's our green mana. Nice. Our little thirsting shade gets out. Got a little life link kicking. We do have enough mana. Yeah, start chipping away, chip, chip, chippy. <laughs> nice. Well, what does he have? Does he have a counter? I think he does. So we're going to buff our little Thirsting Shade here. And swing in. Or does he have something with Flash? Nope. Oh, I should turn on the turn on the sound. Oh, 
All right. Well, as he draw two cards, there you go. Sphinx's insight. What do I want to play? I think we're just going to get out him, and then next turn we'll play the Spectacle cross uh, cost of our uh, Rafter Demon. Nice. I like it. Chaining his life over to us. Grasping Thrall. All right. So... One damage to each opponent and one damage to each each creature an opponent controls. Ah, it didn't pop it up. I guess I don't know how to do that yet. Swing in for two. I very highly doubt he's going to block. What do you got? He attacks. Spawn of Mayhem. Flying Trample. At the beginning of your... Upkeep, Spawn of Mayhem deals one damage to each player, then if you if they have ten or less life, put a plus one, plus one counter on Spawn of Mayhem. So how does Riot work? Oh, he, he's got a counter. Yeah, we'll make him a big boy. Oh, sweet. Or does he just have straight removal? There you go. Basically luminous bonds. Bang. One to the face. One to the face. We're not doing too bad yet. We'll see what he, our opponent comes out with. What's he going to do? Creatures you control gain indestructible until the end of the turn. If you cast this during your main phase, creatures get plus one, plus one. Well, there you go. We are at nine. Did they gain vigilance? Oh, okay. Main phase indestructible and vigilance. So we're going to attack and then we're going to do dagger caster. He may have a counter, but. We don't have time to wait. We're probably just dead anyways. Yeah, if he just waits, he just swings in, we're, we're done. We got nothing with reach. Well... Yeah, we're, we're up a creek. Well, that's game one, guys. So you see how awesome our deck is. <laughs> that's all right. Like I said, I'm not great at this, but we're going to play it anyway. It's good just to get the cards. So we paid 2000 
so we actually paid eighteen hundred plus we get nine packs so so let's jump into another Sean Solo again we got mana we got our shade we don't have the mana for him though what are we gonna get Come on, man. Come on, Sean. All right. Get our shade out again. Rocking and rolling. Oh. Well, that's nice that we got that anyway. chain that time? I was liking the chain. I wonder what's different. Huh. That's rather powerful. No attacks. Next turn. I should have cast it this turn. Yeah, we need him dead. Yeah, that's a powerful spell, big time. What do you got, Sean Solo? Not Han Solo, Sean Solo. What you got? He's waiting to counter my spell. Wouldn't be surprised. Well, he's doing something. Scry 2 puts... They put him at the top, I think. Well, we're going to do that. Because that'll kill his creature. He takes one damage, one down on him, and then I attack with... I attack with... Nice. I like that. That's a nice card. Yeah, oh, it's Spectacle, but I don't have three to cast it. He's at 16. What you got now, Guild Mage? Summary Judgment. Three damage to target tapped creature. That is what we were hoping for. Unless he's got a counter, which is possible. But hopefully he has to sacrifice his guild mage. If he does, he can tap it and gain two life anyway. Oh, draw and discard a card. There we go. <laughs> I see. So when I got something with Spectacle, then it does the chains, so then I can cast. What do I want to do? I 
I don't know. We're going to do that. Then we're going to attack with him. Yeah, we'll attack with both. If he blocks, we got Scorch Mark. He'll kill one of our creatures if he blocks. <coughs> and there's the block. Boom. And his creature is exiled. Our thirst, thirsting shade still kicking it. 4-4 four, four blue sphinx with flying and... Riot and Menace. I like that. Gore Clan Wrecker. Yeah, I'm digging this. It's fun. New cards are great. Our deck is fairly aggressive. He's going to swing in for four. He's got Vigilance. No reason not to. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to do that? Um, yeah, he could have counters. We're going to attack first. See if he blocks. I assume he's going to block now. Well, we'll see how this goes. He's got lots of spells. We've got lots of creatures. Sean Solo still trying to find a way to victory. Yeah, I was obviously not very cognizant of flying in this deck with the uh, creatures that I put in our <coughs> in our deck. <coughs> a locket, more mana. Yeah, that's a brutal card. go. Deal a card. That's nice. That might be how we uh, kill the Sphinx there. Unless he casts another creature, though, each turn we can get three in with our, our Gore Clan Wrecker. That is pretty badass art on her. Come on, Sean. Usually when I say that, they just end up just smoking me. You got lots of land. Well, there you go. Put one in hand and one on top of our library. And we are at 12. So that costs three. Yeah. 
he can't really block. He's got to know that I have something in hand. Well, I could be wrong. And I gained two life, so that's a great trade for us. Our opponent's a bit land flooded. Maybe not, I don't know. <coughs> so we got six. Azorius Knight Arbiter. That's cool art, too. That horse looks kick-ass. I definitely like this thing, too. Lots of teeth and claws. And horns. Devious Acuity. Gain two life and draw a card. Well, now he's got his two that he can block our Gore Clan Wrecker. But he can't block two. Well, it's an interesting game. He, again, with the land. He'll ping us for two more. <laughs> okay. Well, that's game. That's... Haven't seen that card. Wow. Yeah, we're we're up a creek now. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer. He can attack, you know, while well, he's doing two. I can't block him. Yep, that's game. Game to game game. Yeah, I haven't seen that card before. <laughs> so I guess all that land, that was useful. Yeah, that spell is highly, very overpowered. <laughs> Well, getting smoked like a Christmas ham. Play another one here. For a minute there, I thought we almost had something in that, but I guess not. Well, we do have enough to get there. This time we get a fiend. Yeah, crocodile would have been useful on that last last deck. We're playing furnace witch. <coughs> Burning tree vandal. Get our lock it out. We're going to take three here at least. A 
What you got? That's a nice little uh, feature from the Burning Tree Vandal. Wrecking Beast. Wow, it's a big old, big old critter. Well, we got a blocker. For now. We need another green mana. Or green... We need a forest, is what we need. That'll let us play our uh, Sunder Shaman. Sylvan... Brush Strider. Cool art on that. Well, look at that. Ask and you shall receive. No attacks. This game is looking uh, very stalemate-ish, so I'm going to get out Ill-Gotten Inheritance. That'll keep our life pinging up. His life pinging down. That's kind of a nice smelt word, Ignea, Ignis. Oh, so you can get our crocodile. Awesome. that what do I got six that's yeah not enough to cast our our stuff yet oh I can cast him sweet that is what I wanted troll Red Guardian. Yeah, I really got to kill this Spike Wheel Acrobat. Draw a card. And we get our shade out, even up the playing field. And we are not attacking yet. What does that do? Wow, non-token creatures you have have riot. I could use a... That dagger guy. I don't remember his name. What you gonna do? He's trying to decide. Yep, yeah, you can still buff your creatures. Oh, good land. Just what I needed. We got mana now. I need... I need cards. <laughs> oh, yay. Perfect. Just what I was hoping for. Can I get a couple... Sacrifice my 
my mana giving locket to draw two cards to get two more mana. <coughs> oh, and it's got Riot. Yep, we need some good draws here. Ill-gotten inheritance, doing some work. I don't need to have him discard a card because, well, he doesn't have any cards. We got plenty of plenty of uh, land and mana for our ability to do nothing. Three, six, nine. Got three swamps. So I can make him a four, four with lifelink. Still looking for the dragger, uh, dagger hurler guy. Come on now. Yeah, that rhythm of the wild is nice. <laughs> oh, yay, I got land. It's a rubble slinger. With Riot. That is pretty nice. What do I want to kill, though? This is the card that scares me. Just because he can take our crocodile, and then that gives him extra stuff, and we don't have a blocker, so that's what I'm doing. He can actually take something before he dies. But he does not. But that makes me feel much better about where we're sitting. <coughs> he can buff his creatures up and attack, and that's fine. <coughs> but we have blockers. What he can't do is steal my creatures. Currently. That doesn't mean he doesn't have another one of them. Right now our game plan is basically we're just going to let ill-gotten inheritance ping them ping away yep scorch mark well we're doing that kill his 5-2 spike wheel acrobat and that's why I don't care for this card a ton it's just Two toughness is easy to take out. Only 11 more turns. <laughs> and ill-gotten inheritance will have us winning. I mean, obviously, a lot can change. Oh, great, another one. Perfect. Three of them. We only drew one out of our six decks we picked up, so... Trample on them is nice, though. Yep. Keep chipping away. Well, we're going to hold our hold our mana in hand. Make him wonder what we got. 
I'd say we got enough on the board. 11. He has 7. Well, there, now he's got 8. He's looking for... Oh! Well, first thing we're going to do... Black. Well, if I had been smarter and played my mana, played my land, we'd have, we could buff him once more. Well, we're going to see how this goes. All right. So, he's blocking him. You have no trample, so I can get... He does one damage to any target, so I need to take something else down to one. Two, three. Block him. He can block him. 4-2. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That'll kill him. That's our one damage. So he's getting through with three. Well, we'll see if I uh, I figured that right. All right, that's not the end of the world. So we're at eleven. All right. What do I want to do here? We're going to do that, gain four life. Next turn, we sacrifice our ill-gotten inheritance. He takes four damage. And that should be game depending on what happens right here, but him doing 20 damage with one card in hand is probably not real likely. Of course, last game, uh, steal your creatures. It's like I didn't see that coming either. He doesn't do anything, and that's going to be the game, guys. He takes four, we gain four, and boom. Hey, we got a win. We got a win. Woohoo! I like it. Yes, we'll claim our prize. Well, now we got 400 gems. All right. I'll be back in a couple minutes here. We'll play another. All right, guys, we are back. We're going to jump into our fourth game. We got our one win. Woo! We need to get more. If I could just get six more wins out of this puppy. Probably not likely. Kexera. Nice. Not a bad start in hand. We got a little bit of removal. 
We got our goblin here. Yeah, we'll keep it. It would have been nice to have a one drop, but yeah, that thirst thirsty or thirsting shade is nice. I like him. Get our lock it out. That's nice too. I like the riot. Uh, gives you the choice between haste and. I think we're just going to take care of him right now. I'm swinging for three. Next turn, we'll probably play our locket. He is blue, red, and green. That's cool art on that. Gruel Guildgate. Well, I was going to play the locket, but oh, I could have. Yeah, we're doing all right for now. Steeple creeper. Creeper, steeper. We're going to attack. He does decide to block. What do you got now? Rubble Belt Recluse. That is a big old beastie. And he can kill us, we can kill him. And he has to attack. Bullrack Clan Crusher. What do I want to do here? Tough situation. We're going to block. Dagger caster, that's the one we needed before. And what do I want to do here? 3 2 or 2 3 don't really matter. We'll take the extra mana. He's going to attack. Where's our ill-gotten inheritance? Come on, we need that puppy out. And he didn't attack. Look at that. He asked for it. There it is. That'll help us sustain a little bit anyway. We can take six. We'll be at 12. Go back to 13. Put him at 13. Yeah, I like that better. Who knows what he's got, though, in hand. Well, there you go. Should have blocked. Ugh. 
I need green mana. I gotta have a blocker out. Yep, we need our crocodile. Well, that is not a crocodile. Yep, we are looking in trouble now. We did not get great draws. So we're going to go to three. We're going to go to seven. Green mana? It won't matter. Green mana, we're still two, five, seven, dead. No, nope, we'll have eight. That helps a bit. Maybe. choice. If he's got a combat trick or something, we're dead anyway. We at one now. Yeah, getting a 4-4 four, four, or doesn't matter. Well, we can do that. Yep, and that is the game. Yep, he just has too many creatures. We just drew bad. Well, guys, that was our sealed. I guess we'll go open the decks. But that's our sealed uh, Ravnica Allegiance. Claim our, our horrible prize. We do get three more decks, though. We'll open those up, see what we get. Civic Stalwart. Enters the battle. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one until the end of turn. That's nice. Grotesque Demise. Exile target creatures with power three or less. That's nice. Azorius Locket. Humungulus. Sphinx's Insight. Gatebreaker Ram. I like the art. Plus one, plus one for each gate you control. As long as you control two or more gates, Gatebreaker Ram has Vigilance and Trample. Nice. Plaza of Harmony enters the battlefield. If you control two or more gates, gain three life. I like it. That's not bad. Another of our Gore Claw Wreckers. Applied Biomancy. Territorial Boar, Rampaging Red Horn. Final Payment. As an additional cost to the spell, pay five life or sacrifice a creature, and it destroys a creature. Sahana Wayfinder enters the battlefield. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land card from among them and put it on top of your library. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. That's kind of nice. Each player discards all cards in their hand, then creates that many 2-2 two, two zombie black creature tokens. That could be interesting. I like this card. This is nice. Clear the mind. Romunculus. Spirit of the Spires. Flying. Other creatures you control with flying get 0-1. Godless Shrine. Nice. Multicolored land. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And I will do some more at a later date. Um, yeah. Try it out. Rock it out. See what you guys think. Thanks for stopping by the Man Cave. And have a good day.